In this video, I'm going to show you how you can control every single fader and executor in your playback pages with a MIDI controller, regardless of what sequences they are assigned to. So, as we can see, I have mapped my fader 201 and my executor 101 and 102 on this first channel strip. If I switch page or switch uh, song, this will now control fader 201 and executor 101 and 201 in the new song, new page. So, how can we do this? If we go into our MIDI settings, we can try to set up a MIDI remote for a specific target. We see that we can only control one sequence per command. That makes me, in my case, limited to only being able to control eight sequences in total with uh, these faders and these sections of buttons. So what you want is your controller to be able to control every fader and executor in just the current playback page and not necessarily be assigned to a specific sequence. There is a way to do this and we are not going to buy any software or download any plugins for the Grand MA3 but we will have to download a third party software called uh, Chatein. This is a open source software which is free for download. I will put a link to it in the description of this video. The purpose of this is to translate these MIDI messages to OSC messages, which is uh, way more flexible and versatile and way more practical for controlling the Grand MA3, in my opinion. So this is what uh, this uh, Chatein program looks like when we first open it. We're gonna focus on the modules, the inspector, the state machine, and the logger for this uh, video. First thing we're gonna do is to click on the plus sign on the modules. Under protocol, we're gonna select MIDI. Here we will select our device, which in my case is the Akai APC Mini. Select it both for uh, in and output of the MIDI signals. Then we're gonna click on this green plus sign under modules once again. We're gonna go to software. There's all these modules already in here for this uh, softwares. And at first you will not find the Grand MA3 module in this section. You'll have to click on get more modules. And in this list, you will find the Grand MA3. So you just click on install here. And uh, after this, you will find it under software at the bottom here. So we open this module, then we click on log outgoing, and we're gonna make sure the OSC output is set to 8000. And we have selected the uh, local as uh, the host in the OSC output section. From here, we're gonna right click in the state machine section, click on add state, click on the little plus sign, select mapping. We're gonna go to filters. We're gonna click on the remap. And we're gonna click on this little green plus sign in the output section. We click on Grand MA3. And here we can select what we want to control. So as I have done now, I have just selected like a fader 201, executor 101, executor 201, and then 202, 102, 202, and so on. So I'm just gonna show how I set this up. Now we can click on uh, learn under the input value. We can just move the fader we want to um, map. Then we can click on this plus sign under outputs, and then we can select uh, move executor fader. We see that it's already set to 201, which is what we in this case want for this fader. And then we can set up the rest of our faders from 202, 203, and so on. Now we can click the green plus sign at the state machine again, choose mapping. We can call this, for example, fader 201, and then we can call this fader 202. And now we just go through the same process. We select fader 202, learn, and we use the fader we want to control fader 202 with. And then uh, filters, remap, under outputs, we select move executor fader. And then we select 202. Same principle goes for the executor um, buttons, like 101 and 201. We just uh, hit um, mapping, then we're gonna select uh, remap, and then under outputs, we're gonna select push executor button and then we click on learn and we can just say this is executor 101 so we click this and now this button is executor 101 we call it that when you have set up all your faders and executors make sure that they are all set to page number one the output section is limited to a maximum amount of nine pages anyway but for us to be able to dynamically change from uh, page to page and switch back and forth and still having uh, our faders operate just the executor number, we will have to set it all to page one and I will get back to why in a second. 
If you have an available module for your specific MIDI controller, you might also want to color code your buttons so they are easier to see and reach fast. Now that we got all of this set up correctly, we are going to go into Grand Domain 3. Make sure you don't close this page. This needs to be running at all times. So just minimize the window. So we go into our uh, in and out preferences. We select OSC. Now it's important that we set like the destination IP on um, the same IP address that your computer is. And the port is 8000. We can receive commands and we have enabled the input. We can now see that we have control over the faders with our MIDI controller. Same goes for the executors. So, why did we put them all on page number one? What you want to do now is to open your song macros, copy page, and then the page this song is on, at page one slash overwrite. That means that every time you hit a new song, this page, page 15 in this case, will be copied to page, uh, page one. That means that when you move this fader, you move this sequence, and this sequence is the same number on page uh, 15 or whatever we were, yeah. So in that way, if you do this for every song, it will load your uh, playback page on page one and just remove whatever is there from before. And you can control every playback page individually with the MIDI controller. The last thing you can do to really make the most out of this is to make some appearances that you can assign to your sequences. So I made three appearances with the same colors as I have on my buttons, which is yellow, red, and green. I made this little macro, which I called the assign color to sequence. And that looks like this. So at appearance 14, I have just like a transparent appearance with no color. So assign appearance 14 at sequence one through. So remove all the appearances, like all the colors from any sequence. Assign appearance 41 at executor 101, and then 42 at 102, and so on. And then if I go back into my song macros, we see this is the last command in the macro. So go macro 33, which is the assign color to sequence. So when I do that now, it will just load the individual colors from my faders and executors to the same uh, channel strips in my playback page. So this is so far the most efficient workflow I have found using a MIDI controller to control my uh, playback section. And uh, I hope this video was uh, helpful for you and uh, thanks for watching.